Hey, what's up guys? In DaVinci Resolve, when we bring part of a source clip into the timeline, and in this example, let's say we're doing an insert edit with in and out points, one thing you will notice is that by default, the system is now going to make the timeline, the active area, the focus, and this is also indicated by the title in the viewer turning red. And this will now allow us to come to the timeline and make any changes, any adjustments that we want to the clip itself. And once we are done, if we want to continue to go back to the source clip, what we need to do is to click the source viewer to activate it in order to do so. So this can be really good, but also maybe a little inconvenient, especially if you want to go back and forth between the source clip and timeline a lot. Now, the good news is that we can change this default behavior by coming to the edit menu and then deselect switch to timeline after edit. So now what you will notice is that if we perform an insert edit using in and out points and then bring that part of the clip into the timeline, the timeline is no longer going to be the active area. The active area is now still the source viewer. So this can be especially helpful if you have a long source clip and you want to bring many parts of it into the timeline without any disruptions. And also coupled with the JKL key shortcuts, which allow you to go back and forth smoothly within the source viewer. This can really save you a lot of time from having to switch between the source viewer and timeline constantly. And when you are ready to come to the timeline, all you need to do is to click anywhere within it to activate it. And this will now allow you to make any changes that you want to clips themselves. Okay, guys, I hope this helps and uh, I will see you next time.